And now, for more dingly danglies that dangle off the dongle. These particular items are known as functional groups. They are groups of atoms that are bonded to a hydrocarbon chain that identify a substance as belonging to a certain family of organic compounds. Compounds that share the same functional group share very similar physical and chemical properties. The first functional group we are going to look at here is called the hydroxyl group, which is also known as OH. This can be found on reference table R, the OH group, which is known as the hydroxyl group. The family of organic compounds that contains a hydroxyl group is called the alcohol family. This may sound somewhat familiar to you. If the hydroxyl group is attached to an end carbon, the carbon on the end of the molecule, it is called a primary alcohol and it is given the symbol 1 degree. If the OH is bonded to a middle carbon, it is called a secondary or if it is bonded to a carbon that is bonded directly to three other carbons, it is called a tertiary alcohol. We will look at examples of all of these. This is a primary alcohol because the OH is bonded to the end carbon. This is a secondary alcohol because the OH is bonded to a middle carbon. Notice it is the oxygen that is bonded to the carbon, not the hydrogen. This is a tertiary alcohol where the OH is bonded to a carbon directly bonded to three other carbons. Here are some properties of compounds that are alcohols. First of all, small alcohols are polar and they tend to be miscible or be able to mix with water. The name of the alcohol is simply the prefix for the number of carbons, an all, with a number in front to indicate where the OH is on the carbon chain. Methanol has one carbon and of course carbon has four bonds. One of those bonds is to an OH. Now why is it methanol? Why is it just methol? Well very simply this. Think of it as methane alcohol. It is methane that has had one of its hydrogens replaced with a hydroxyl group. We can write its formula as CH3OH. This is also known as wood alcohol. So it is an excellent though extremely flammable and poisonous liquid and it is an ingredient in windshield wiper fluid. It is really good at getting bug guts off your windshield. Ethanol, F contains two carbons, has an OH bonded to it. What is on the other end of these? Remember implied hydrogens? Can be written as CH3, CH2, OH. This is a collapsed form of the structural formula. It tells you what carbons you have and what is attached to that carbon. What carbon you have, what is attached to that carbon. Ethanol is known as grain alcohol. It is derived from the fermenting of things that have sugar in them and we will get into the fermentation process a little bit later on. Grain alcohol is used in flex fuel vehicles, E85 for example. It is extremely flammable, it is pretty poisonous and yet for some strange reason people drink it. Not straight, hopefully not straight. This is the stuff that you find in beer, wine, liqueur, all the rest of that stuff. 2-propanol. In ethanol we did not have to put a number in because if the OH was on this carbon it would still be the same molecule. But with propanol having three carbons there are a couple of places that we could put this OH, this hydroxyl group. This tells us we need to put it on the second carbon and from the end. If we put it on the end we would call it 1-propanol. We want 2-propanol so we will put this on the second carbon and from the end making it a secondary alcohol. To write the formula CH3, CHOH, CH3. And that is how we would collapse it down to a simplified structural formula. These alcohols that we have done so far are called 
monohydroxy alcohols because they contain one OH in their formula. That's monohydroxy. However, if you've got this situation, 1,2-ethan diol, that means there's two OHs. It's called a dihydroxy alcohol. There's two OHs in the formula. Well, this says F, which is two carbons, 1,2-ethan diol. 1, 2, ethan, diol. Also known as ethylene glycol or antifreeze. We took a look at this back in the solutions unit. This raises the boiling point of water and lowers the freezing point. CH2OH, CH2OH. This is an extremely poisonous and dangerous material. It has a sweet flavor to it. That's what this whole Gly business is all about. It tastes very sweet, like syrupy. But when it metabolizes in the body, it causes these needle-sharp crystals to be formed in the kidneys, which can liquefy the kidneys and basically lead to an incredibly painful death. Now you have to be careful. If you spill antifreeze, you've got to get it cleaned up right away because little kids can lick it up off the floor. You know how little kids are. They're gross, man. They'll lick anything off the floor. Pets love this stuff, but it can kill them. So if you notice that your pet has gotten near the antifreeze, get them to the vet. There is an antidote that can prevent the crystals from forming in the kidneys, but you've got to get them to the vet and get the antidote before the crystals can form. One, two, three, propen triol. Wow, this looks kind of bizarre. Propan, that would be three carbons. One, two, three, one, two, three. Propan triol, triol. Well, if that was a dihydroxy alcohol, this is a trihydroxy alcohol. CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. Oh, 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 oh. Glycerol is also a byproduct of soap manufacture, and it's used in soap products and cleaning products. So those are alcohols.